And I've said this repeatedly, before they sit in judgment of others, Western nations must first set their own house in order. The US is only one example. Here's another one. A few weeks back, a lot of noise was made in the British Parliament over India's farm laws. British lawmakers accused New Delhi of cracking down on farmers. They called the situation, quote unquote, deeply concerning. Now what I'm about to show you could be distressing to watch. These images, these are British policemen. Most of them are men, there's one woman here, dragging away a female protester. Her jeans falls down and she's left exposed in her underpants. Isn't this deeply concerning for British lawmakers? And this happened on the streets of Manchester, one of the most urban and metropolitan cities in the UK. A group of around 150 demonstrators had gathered to protest against a controversial policing bill, which we'll discuss in a bit. The protesters were largely peaceful and contained, but dozens of police officers arrived at the scene, prepared to crack down. They pushed and dragged away the protesters, claiming to be doing their job. Watch this. <laughs> As for the woman who was left partially exposed, the Manchester police say they've spoken to her and offered their apologies. They say the incident was not deliberate, but was indeed regrettable. Well, here's my question. How many times will British cops express their regret for forcefully detaining peaceful protesters? What happened in Manchester is not a one-off instance. On the 13th of March, a vigil was held in London for the killing of Sarah Everard. Everard was a 33-year-old woman who was murdered on her way home. A London cop is the main accused in this case, and I want to underline that. A London cop, policeman, has been accused of killing a woman on her way home. And as hundreds of women gathered to express their grief and pay respects, what did the London police do? It launched a crackdown, arrested the women who were just trying to raise concerns on women's safety. What has the British government done about this? It has tabled a new bill to further increase the powers of the police. The bill is called the Police Crime Sentencing and Court Bill. It is highly problematic. The bill gives the police the power of discretion to determine which protests are unlawful and must be dealt with force. This has led to a national outcry. Rights groups and civilians have hit the streets with the rallying call of kill the bill. They say the bill will outlaw every protest that causes discomfort to 10 Downing Street and will make it easier to convict protesters over petty charges. In the last two weeks, Kill the Bill protests have taken place in Bristol, Birmingham, Brighton, Cambridge, Liverpool, Leeds, Manchester, Newcastle, Sheffield and York. The protests have been peaceful. The police response, not so much. We're about to show you some videos and they will settle all your doubts about police brutality in the United Kingdom. You saw what happened there. They're using shields as weapons, hitting protesters with batons, shoving them to the ground, and all else fails, simply tossing a police club in their faces. This is happening in the United Kingdom, where the parliament is more concerned about debating rights and freedom in former colonies. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.